everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, second week of July reading start from the 8th through the 14th of July 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. Let's see what is coming up for the Virgos for this week time. Um, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone. So always pick the messages which are resonating with you and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and now... Uh, you can also check out my sister's diary channel. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's get started. Let's see what is heading towards you guys for this week time starting tomorrow. Where it goes, please. Be careful while crossing the road. Uh, while crossing the roads, uh, you know when you are out. Be be careful with that. Okay. Um, King of Wands. Pair up with the Hierophant. Seven of Swords. Four of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. I need to take you to have the High Priestess. I'm picking up two energies here for some of you you might be in a relationship with a person and then you are still looking at another person in your life um it's uh it's more like um you are already taken and then there is another person in your life who you are keeping your eye on too um maybe you uh maybe you love both of them is what i'm picking up here if if that's the case with you um but whatever it is uh, I, I don't see that you could pursue that connection. You know, the, the one that you are in right now, if you're married, if you're committed, I feel like, you know, there is another person in your life who you are getting attracted to, but you cannot pursue that connection, no matter what. No matter how hard you try, you cannot do that. And um, all you can do is think about this person, look at them, you know, from, from a distance, but nothing more than that. Maybe you could visualize them or, you know, just imagine, fantasize about them, but nothing more than that is going to happen between you and this person. Coming towards the other situation that I'm picking up, I feel like, you know, um, you have a person on your mind, a lot on your mind. Like, you know, this person is somebody uh, that you're thinking too much about. But um, there could be some sort of... Um, you know, there, there could be some sort of uh, religious differences between the two of you. Maybe you belong to different religion. This person belongs to different religion. But you do have a strong feeling for this person. You really find them very attractive. You really wish to have a future with this person. But at the same time, you feel like, you know, you are tied up. You, you cannot, you know, uh, you cannot pursue this connection because of the religion factor involved. Because maybe your parents are not going to agree. Their parents are not going to agree. So you are going to be, you know trying to figure out you are going to consult with with somebody uh you know religious scholars or something around those lines where you're going to talk about this situation and you are going to get some sort of guidance from them to figure out if it is okay to to you know get married to a person like this and that so i do see that there will be certain uh certain issues that you would be kind of you know trying to deal with when it comes to this connection but um i do see that you you have a very strong feeling towards this person but um, for some of you, it, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have to be the scholars, uh, the religious scholars. It can be your elders as well, like maybe your parents, your grandparents, maybe you are seeking their advice how to deal with the situation. You really want to pursue this connection. You really want, you know, this person in your life. But at the same time, there are certain differences, which is like, you know, not letting you have the decision made around it. You are thinking about this person. You have them on your mind most of the time. You really want to, you know, get married to this person. I don't pick up any girlfriend-boyfriend relationship kind of energy here. I do see that you you really want to pursue this connection. You have strong feelings for this person. But at the same time, you don't know how to go about it. Um, if and only if you listen to your intuition, you will be guided through it. Again, if you have somebody elder, like, you know, your grandparents or something, you can, uh, you know, uh, somebody around, you know, that age, you can... <clears throat> excuse me you can always you know take guidance from them 
uh, to figure things out. But I do see that, you know, otherwise too, you will be still having some sort of guidance coming from the universe to, you know, help you in this situation. Um, only that you do have the Queen of Wands. Whoever this person is, this person is equally interested in you as well. And I feel like, you know, this person and you, not you, I, I because I do see you kind of, you know, getting concerned about it. But this person really enjoys the fact that, you know, you are thinking of them all the time. This person really knows what is going on in your heart about them. You know, whether whether you are, you know, already married or whether you are single, you know, if, if both, if you could relate to any of the stories that I just said or expressed, uh, seeing the energies coming here, uh, coming from these cards here, uh, whether you're single or whether you are, you know, uh, in a relationship right now, this person, whoever it is that you are interested in, this person really knows what, what is going on inside of you for them. And they are enjoying this. And, um, uh, but having said that, if you are married or committed already, this person doesn't have any intention to spoil your connection with your wife, boy, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband. But yes, they, this person really enjoys the fact that you are getting attracted to them. They find themselves, you know, more alluring or something. They find themselves, you know, very sexy or, you know, handsome if you are a man. Um, if, if this person is a man, like, you know, I feel like, you know, this person knows that they, they are, you know, very attractive that way. So this person really does enjoy that. But yes, they do know that you, you have strong, you know, pull, magnetic pull towards this person. So, um, you do have Emperor and need that Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. Let's take two more cards from top of the deck. The Hermit, two of Wands, oh, sorry, two of Pentacles, and the Devil. Wow, so strong sexual energy. You definitely fantasize them, or they do, about you in bed for sure. Um, if you're single, this person really wants to start something with you as well. But there is something which is stopping you two from coming together. For some of you, it can be your, you know, this, this connection that you are already in. For others of you, it can be a different thing. It can be anything. But yes, there is something which is stopping you two from coming together. But you both want to start something. For those of you who are already committed, I don't see you uh, coming out of it and pursue this connection. For those of you who are single, completely single, I do see you um, starting something with this person. Because the passion that you share, you are not going to able to control this for this person. And if you are already taken, I don't think that you have the courage enough to break free from that and pursue this connection. That, that energy is not showing up with these cards here. So let's move on to this... Uh, uh oracle card let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this week time i'd like to take a quick clarify for the seven of souls energy here from the same deck hold on For those of you who have very, uh, you know, um, new connection with this person, if you if you are already committed or married, if your connection is so weak in terms of uh, 
you you have fights, you have issues in this you know connection, then there are chances that this person is going to break free from this connection that you have already have and uh, you know pursue a new person. You know that can be the case for some of you, especially if you and your person, um, uh, you know, if the Virgos and their person is not having good bonding, there's a strong chance for them to break free from you know, uh, their current partner and pursue the other person that they are getting attracted towards. So, um, I know it's not a good good energy, but, uh, you know, especially for those of you who are cross-watcher and cross-watching it for their husband or wife, it's not a good energy to have, but at the same time, that's what I'm picking up, so I'm going to talk about it. I cannot stop myself from talking about the energies that I'm picking up with the cards because the message has to be, you know, shared because uh it is definitely going to be helpful for one person or maybe more than that but definitely i have to put the message out there so yeah i do see you know if, if you have a weak connection with your husband with your wife um the other person can definitely win uh when your guy or your girl so in that situation or to avoid that situation it's always uh good if you communicate openly because communication is the key towards you know, making a stable, you know, making any connection solid and stable. So if you have been having um, issues with your person, it's high time you communicate openly so you don't let the third person uh, spoil your connection with your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend if you're committed. So yeah, let's move on to this uh, Oracle card now. Let's see what it has to add to the reading for you guys. My capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I'm lost. So it can be a message, strong message for you, or it can be a strong message for your person as well if you're a cross-watcher. So, um, yes, um... If you are the Virgo and who has been in a bad relationship and you never had the courage to speak your heart out, I feel like, you know, with this person entering in your life, you will have the courage to speak your heart out to your person and you would like to break free from your current, current you know, uh, relationship and get into, you know, one with this uh, new one with this new person. But um, again, it's not going to happen for everyone out there. So there's no need to panic or think uh or get upset because it's not going to be happening with everyone out there so just pick how it is resonating if you are having some weak connection with your person then it can happen to you otherwise if your connection is and your bond is very strong it's not going to happen to you so yeah that's the message coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye